Hey everybody, I just wanted to come in really quick. Not gonna try to hold you too long. But this is a long overdue video that I've that has been on me to do for quite some time. And there's several that I've <clears throat> that have been put on me to do. So I'm just gonna try to blend it all into one. First of all, I um, pray that you all are enjoying your day or night, depending on where you are. Um you all just to get right into it um i pray that the lord will cover and keep each and every one of you that are listening to this video right now i pray that fear is not setting in your hearts god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind yes sometimes the things that we go through in life may try to bring fear up but immediately we have to cast it down Ask the Lord to remove those things out of our heart and out of our mind and out of our lives that is not of Him, and fear being one of them. Um, you all, I just want to say, uh, there's been quite a few things that's been coming to mind. One of them is, you see that window in the back? What I've been thinking about was people that have their Bible in the back window. I never understood why. Because that's the one thing that you want to have close to you. So it's time for all of you that have been putting your Bible, keeping your Bible in the back window, and just taking it out on certain days. It's time to dust them Bibles off and begin to use them every day. Begin to see what the lust said the Lord every day if you can. I know sometimes we get tired, some things happen. We may not get into the Word like we should, but get into it as often as you can, daily. If you can start to build their relationship with the Lord so that you would know what the Holy Spirit is saying to you instead of running to man to see what man has to say. Because just like man can go to our father, you can go to him as well. So dust the Bibles off and get to the Lord. Go to the Lord for yourself. Get on your knees and start praying. Talk to him daily. You know, ask him how his day is going. You know, we have he give us so many hours out the day take some time out for him um also another thing was just looking at everything that's going on in this world we know you know we want to enjoy our life we want to have fun we want things to go i've heard even heard people say i want things to go back the way that they were well they're not they're not so we can go ahead and just throw that out right now but what we can do is strengthen our spirit in the lord so that the times that are to come the Lord, we ask the Lord to equip us with all the things that we need so when trials and tribulations come our way, we will be ready. Stand firm on our faith, Lord. And stop believing in the devices of man. You know, time is growing near. It's, it's, it's getting short, you all. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. But um, I do want want to say one thing. You know, do you ask the Lord for a discerning spirit. Ask the Lord for a discerning spirit. So that you'll know good from evil. We should already know right from wrong. But because so many of us are focused on the things of this world, we miss the things that the Lord put before us. We forget about the things that the Lord has taught us have taught us and we don't see the things that he placed in front of us because a lot of us are blinded by the worldly things all of this stuff shall, shall perish just like the word says vanity of vanities vanity of vanities is all vanity all this stuff is if it's not of the lord it means nothing it's all going to burn there's so much more i want to say you all and yes, I could come out here, I can come on here and say, oh, you know, I want you all to have a beautiful day and this and that and make it sound all pleasant and good. But guess what? Time is drawing near. Time is drawing near and I'm only doing what I've been told to do. Father, forgive me for waiting so long, but I've been, I'm doing what I'm told to do. It's time for us to go ahead and start getting on our knees and start going before the Lord as often as we possibly can. The enemy is doing what he's doing because he knows his time is short. What are you doing to prepare yourself? Do you all know for several months, all I was seeing in my dreams and all I was hearing was prepare. 
prepare. And, you know, people may think, you know, prepare physically. But then when I asked, you know, how do I prepare? And it was mentally, and you know what I received was prepare mentally, spiritually, and what was it, Father? Mentally, prepare your mind, your heart, and your spirit. That's what it is. Prepare your mind, heart, and your spirit. You can prepare in any other way. But if your mind, your heart, and your spirit is not in line with what the Lord's will is for you, then you're not ready. You all, we have to get ready. We may think we're ready. You know, I thought I was ready until one day I I can I cannot I would never forget I had a dream. Some things went on in that dream. And at the end, right before I woke up, all I heard was, You're not ready. You know, that's a hurting feeling right there. So I had to pray and ask the Lord. That's when I asked the Lord, how do I prepare? And I trust truly believe it was the Holy Spirit that told me to prepare your heart, your mind, and your spirit. So that's why I had to adjust some things, you all. And I tell you all, do the same thing. Because the Lord is coming back. So I say, stand firm on your faith. No matter the cost. Stand firm. I know many of you have heard the poem that I've said about sooner than you'll soon. But I'll say it again. And I want to share with you all right now. And it says... Sooner than you're soon. I got you. You right. He is coming back soon. But sooner than you think. Sooner than the rooster that crowed when Peter denied Jesus. Sooner than you can finish doing the thing that you do which is holding you back from your full potential. Wake up and take your position, child of God. Because the Lord is coming back soon. Oh yeah, sooner than you're soon. Time to get strapped up. From sun up to sun up, from the time you lay your head to the time you rise nonstop. Take your position, child of God, because the Lord is coming back soon. Oh yeah, sooner than your soon. Connect to the rest of the body of Christ. Let's lock arms and be that shield that God uses while stepping out to save the wounded soldiers. Let's be the ones that goes out and bring in new babies while catching on to the power of this devotion. Let's be the ones that stands and live but not die after fighting for what we believe. Nothing more powerful than this word we represent. The word we wear around our chest and hips from the top of our head down to the bottom of our feet. <laughs> Not worry, because God's got our back. Oh, did I mention Jesus is coming back real soon? Oh, and let me tell you, hell is not a place where you would like to be. Because, because some were not connected, they got tangled in the devil's destiny. Sooner than your soon, sooner than your soon. Sounds like a song, don't it? Starting to work a nerve in your brain, huh? I hope so, because you playing with your life. Playtime is over. Demons, beasts, and destruction, or Jesus, his angels, and the power to defeat all that is already under our feet. Get connected. Get connected quick. Sooner than you'll soon, sooner than you'll soon. Sounds like the song I just sang, huh? Let's make the end of this journey, your everything, your destiny, your eternity. Sooner than you'll soon. You all, we have to get strapped up from sun up to sun up with the Holy Word. The Holy Word is what's going to keep you. It says that if you endure until the end, then you will be saved. Endure until the end, you will be saved. Remember, endure until the end, and you will be saved. I pray that the Lord will cover and keep all of you. Time to get it right, you all. Because it's sooner than you'll soon. I love y'all.